Alright, so recently I bought these two lucky Chinese cats which both wave. This one is solar powered, this one isn't. I got them both from Tesco. I think it's something to do with the fact that we're coming close to uh, the Chinese New Year. So there's some there's like a really small section in Tesco, just like a couple of, of shelves which had a bunch of these on one of the shelves and a bunch of these on the other shelf. So I thought it'd be quite fun to make a video of these because I, th I think they're quite appealing actually. I mean, you know, that's why I bought them. I thought it would be quite nice to have these like displayed on the mantelpiece or something. So let's take a, a close look at this one first. So this one, it's not solar powered like this one. This one works by either just moving it like that and it will wave for quite a while, I think, or just simply moving the uh, the paw and letting go like that. Now, something interesting that I've just discovered, when you tip it like that, it actually stops waving. And then when you bring it back, it begins to wave again. Let's see if it does it when you tip it this way. Yep. There's something moving around inside, like some kind of a weight. It's something that's connected to this waving arm. So I'm guessing whatever it is inside is making the arm wave. Let's see if I tip it that way, will it stop it? No. Ah, it does want to tip it that way. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this. So I think this one cost about £3.50. And the smaller one cost about one pound fifty. So I'm not sure what it's holding there. It kind of looks like maybe a fish, a fish bone or something. And there's the back. And you can see me there, kind of. And there's the underneath. Made in China. Well, that's interesting. It says requires a battery. I didn't realise that you could use batteries for this. Which is kind of strange because, like I said, if you move its arm or if you just move the cat around, it will wave for quite a while. So it's quite nice how the bottom is textured like that. It looks quite nice, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this waving and we'll see how long it waves for uh, while we take a look at this one. And then I'll get some batteries for this. So here is the smaller one which is solar powered and it's in this dome and there is the back and it's a solar powered there table for made in China okay so I think you meant to take this dome off so let's see if I can do that I think I think the dome is like it's just like packaging and you're meant to take it off. I don't think you're meant to leave it on. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, we've got like tabs there which seem to be keeping this dome on. Just wondering is there some way of like twisting it to get it off? I mean maybe you're not meant to take the, the dome off, I don't know. So I've been looking at pictures of this online and in some pictures it's in its dome and in other pictures it's not in its dome. So I'm not really sure if it's kind of meant to be left inside this or whether this is just like packaging and you're meant to take it off. But I'm going to see if I can pry it off with a, uh, a screwdriver. See if that's successful. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to get this off now. Not sure if it looks better in the dome or not in the dome, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna keep it while it's on the uh, the mantelpiece. But let's take a closer look at it. Okay, I've just realised because like usually I do need to do quite a bit of editing in my videos, we're probably never gonna get to see, you know, this like from the start of it waving to it slowing down and stopping uninterrupted because. You know, usually I'm having to kind of cut bits out of the video, so whatever. But yeah, I would have thought that you would need natural sunlight to power something that's solar powered. I didn't realise that you could actually 
power something that's solar powered just from artificial light but this will work under artificial light I mean it's artificial light now and uh, yeah I'm guessing this will wave more if it's in natural sunlight but let's, uh, let's see how much it waves when I shine a torch at this so yeah you can see it's waving a lot more now and uh, yeah let's open this one up and put some batteries into it so maybe we'll see that weight or whatever it is that's inside it which seems to power it not sure if there's going to be any more screws under the, uh, the label I'm guessing there is let's just pull it off and it's, it's taking some of the gold paint off with it what I'll do is I'll put a battery in this, we'll see what it's like then and then I'll take this apart and we'll see what's inside this screw is really stiff why won't, why won't this screw come out? ok I don't think the screw is actually meant to come out um, all I need to do is to just push this like that and then I should be able to take off the uh, the cover. I was a bit I wasn't really sure about what was going on before. I was a bit worried about maybe breaking this, but that's all you have to do. Uh, let's get out a battery. Try and find a good one. So it's a double A battery that I need, and this is where I keep all of my batteries. Try and find one that's fuller. I save the really weak ones, you know, for remote controls. Um, so let's try and make sure I use a fully powered one for this. So my battery tester. Okay, that's strange because I did recharge these several months ago, and it's showing nothing. What the hell? Okay, so that's showing up as good. It's weird how these two are showing up as being flat because I, I recharged them several months ago and I've not used them. Alright, so this battery will do. So yeah, this is one of the, uh, the newer interesting batteries where you can actually press there and there and it shows you how full the battery is. Doesn't seem to be an on switch or anything so I'm guessing it will just start waving once I've got the battery in there. Okay, is it gonna fit? Should do, it's a double A. It's a really tight fit. Uh, we'll just leave this off for now. Oh look at that, that's really, really waving. Wow. And that, I'm pretty sure this is powered by the battery, it's not powered because I've, you know, it's not waving because I've just moved the cat. If I just hold it still like that and then let go. It should. It's not start. It's waving a tiny bit but it's not waving properly. I guess, I guess to start it off you've still got to kind of just do that. But it should just, I guess it should just continue to wave until the battery runs out. Actually it seems to be kind of speeding up maybe. So it's been several minutes now, I'm sure it's uh, lasted longer than how long it lasts when you don't use a battery and you just move the arm or move the cap. So I'm guessing this will just continue to wave until the battery goes flat. But uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how this works actually. Let's take out that battery. Because it feels like there's a there's a heavy weight in there and it has something to do with make, making the 
arm wave. Yeah, this battery it's it's like a it's like a really tight fit. I don't know why they've made the compartment so small. That just flew out. Alright, so let's uh let's undo this some more. This feels like it's turned into a Fran Lab video. So I don't think so I don't think I'll bother with opening up the solar powered one. So I'm guessing maybe it's got the same mechanism inside it as what's in this one. Um I've just thought actually like when this is not powered by light if I move the arm back and let go will it continue to wave for quite a while like this one does when it doesn't have a battery in it um, let's see I have to try and find something to cover up the uh, the solar cell I think it's called let's try and wrap it around this so no light can, can get in at all I'll use this label to keep it held together I could have put this label over the solar cell but light might still get through it because it's kind of thin and I don't know I think this will do a better job of blocking out the light this, uh, this cloth So if that goes for a while, now it's not getting any power from the light. Looks like it's slowing down now. Yeah, I can see this is almost stopped now. So it must have the same kind of mechanism in it as what's in, in this one. So I finally managed to, to get this off. I can't really pull out the insides because you know they're attached to this arm. Um, so we can't really get a good look at what's going on there, really. But it's hmm, okay. So these will be the electronics which make it work when you attach a battery. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this. When I move the arm, you can see inside that white plastic thing moving. That's an actual weight, so it's like a pendulum. When you put the screws into these holes, they are meant to screw into this into this black plastic. You can see the screw holes there, but it's loose. So when you put this on and you put the screws into it, they're basically not screwing into anything because they're not making contacts properly with these holes so this is going to be quite difficult to uh, to get back together again but I'm thinking if I actually pull this arm some way out if I can remove this arm then I could possibly pull this out and then put it onto this and screw the screws in push this back in and then attach the arm back onto this bit maybe so if I knew this was going to happen, I never would have unscrewed it. I never would have taken it apart. Let's see. Okay, so we've got the arm off there. Or leg. Let's see if we can pull this whole thing out. Now we can actually get a better look at the uh, the mechanism there. So there is the, the mechanism. Unfortunately it's kind of leaning over a bit because that pillar there is incomplete. I'm surprised nothing is broken yet because like I said the plastic seems really brittle and just everything seems so delicate. So we've got like a weight there. I'm not there and then looks like a weight at the bottom 
I think maybe this is actually a magnet and just under underneath the magnet is a plastic disc with copper coiled around it so I'm guessing the copper coil interacts with what I think is a magnet and that's what causes the uh, the arm to move pretty interesting all right well let's try and get this back together again so let's make sure everything's lining up and none of the wires are like being pinched everything looks fine so we do already have a screw in there because for some reason it won't come out so let's screw that in some reason this column is incomplete I'm gonna have to do this off camera because it'll be easier actually I think I might be able to do it on camera after all because I've just had an idea if I have it this way up instead it should be a lot easier to do Let's see if I can get it back inside with the arm on I don't think I'll be able to No, let's take the arm off. Let's see if I've got this the right way around. Yep. Okay, it's going to be pretty difficult getting this arm onto this. Now this is inside the cat. Let's see. Uh, See when I try and turn this to lock it into place it just turns the white thing with it. We need to try and hold this white thing straight somehow while I turn this. Um, hmm. Okay so if I can if I can hold this white thing in place this screwdriver while I turn the arm I should be able to lock it into place hopefully. Yeah, this is proven to be really tricky. Okay, let's try again. So I'll put the screwdriver against the end of that white plastic. And now turn the arm. I think that's got it. Yep. I was kind of a bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to do that. But, um... Yep, let's just get this back on it's got like two tabs there it just clicks into place like that let's make sure the arm is working and it is but, uh, yeah let's uh, get the, the battery thing back on this and screw it in so glad I've managed to get this back together there was a point where I was thinking you know something I don't think I'm going to get it back together and I'm just going to have to throw it out and buy another one one last screw And there you have it, one lucky waving Chinese cat back together and it still works fine. But it didn't come out of the disassembly and reassembly unscathed, unfortunately, because I did notice before some of the gold paint has come off that there. But to be honest, when this is on the mantelpiece in the living room, you know, if you sat on the couch or in, in a chair or you're walking through the living room, you're not going to be able to see that. As for this little fella, I think I'm actually going to keep the dome on this because it doesn't quite look right without the dome on it. I think it's something to do with this base. It just kind of, the base it kind of looks like bare, like something needs to be to be on it, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I'm explaining that well. So let's get the dome back on it. And it should just probably click into place like that. 
and let's take this label off you can still see it from this side from the front yeah this sticker is not going to come off cleanly so I'll just I'll sort it out later on but yeah so there you go two lucky Chinese waving cats there we go one solar powered one battery powered but both both will work without any electricity without a battery in this you can just get it to wave by moving it or by moving the arm and you can do the same thing with this if you cover up the solar cell so it's not getting any power from the light so yeah that is pretty much it thanks for watching